So, this is going to be a reading for my Geminis. Thank you so much for joining me. We're going to go ahead and get straight into it. Uh, this is going to be a week ahead forecast for July 26th to August 1st. So let's see how the week plays out for you guys. Also, if you're new here, welcome. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the like button if you want to see more of our readings. Also, check out the description if you want your own personal reading. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, cool. So now that we have the cards laid out, let me just fix it really quick. The first card is going to represent your week as a whole, Gemini. So with the three of cups, this is you guys focusing on accomplishing, 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 accomplishing. This is for my people who are single. You may be looking at, okay, how can I accomplish more in my career? How can I get to this point? How can I accomplish a goal that I have in mind? Um, for others of you, this is more so you looking at some sort of romantic connection you have with some someone and analyzing whether or not it is a smart idea for you to reconcile with them, especially if this person may be um, really gun hoeing for you guys to get back together and to make things work. OK, um, this could also be more so like you looking at like some close friends that you may have or really questioning their personal motives especially if you may have been hearing like some gossip about like a close friend of yours possibly doing some shady stuff oh. all these cards fell on the floor okay but what i see here in regards to something that will unexpectedly come up we have the five of wands so this may be some sort of confliction, personal confliction that you may be going through. This could also be confliction that's coming from other people um, where like you have someone around you, lover, boss, whoever, where they're giving you like mixed signals and they're conflicted in terms of a decision that they have to make. This could also be conflict or issues between you and a spouse, you guys being head to head because there could be other people affecting the relationship, um, like third parties or outside people. This could be more so you guys just being at each other's necks. Hmm. Now, when it comes to how you can stay grounded and focused during this time frame, I have the queen of discs. So this is focusing on things that matter. With the queen of discs, this is you focusing on your like practical matters, finances, your health. This is also working on your, your personal trust issues because some of you could be dating someone new and you could have personal trust issues that keep you from being able to really value this relationship or see this person for their value. This is looking at who you give your energy to and withdrawing it from people who don't deserve it. Hmm. This is also putting in a proper schedule eating right, prioritizing better sleep. This is, oh my God. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know what the heck. Somebody's car just is extremely loud. Sorry about that. That caught me off guard. Anyways, um, so yeah, so this is focusing on, like I said, basically adopting all the qualities that most, most earth signs have where they, you know, are balanced and, and focused on practical things that that's what's going to help you during this time frame now how dang that caught me off guard um the the next card is going to represent the challenge so with the challenge we have the seven of wands in reverse so the challenge may be getting someone to drop their like 
guard they may be like just really defensive you guys may be dealing with someone who's just really 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 defensive and to get them to like loosen that wall that they may have up may just be a really really hard thing to do okay um this could also be like you guys standing in your own way this is making sure you guys don't stand in your own way or you don't allow a possible fire sign to put you in a state of being like in drama you don't want to be in basically or issues you don't want to keep having to deal with yeah it's like you guys really care about someone but getting the issues or the problems to stop may be a whole nother thing Now, when it comes to what I see for the advice, okay, we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So this is getting out of a relationship or not trying to pursue a relationship with someone who, unfortunately, is just not making it easy for you to be in a relationship with them. Clarifying that I do have the Emperor. So this is like power struggles, ego coming in the midst. If you're dealing with someone who's too prideful to say sorry or too prideful to apologize, in moments of heat or acknowledge when they're wrong, then this is you needing to look at that and, and possibly analyze whether or not you can continue to be with someone like that or deal with someone on that level who is unable to put their ego aside for the sake of the relationship. Also, like I said, for a lot of you, it's time for you to take control over your situation, especially financially when it comes to like a living situation. Now, when it comes to love, we have the lovers. So for some of you, you're single because this is the card for Gemini. For others of you, this is more so you realizing that you need to put yourself first and choose logic over feelings because you guys may be letting your emotions keep you stuck while the universe is trying to shift you out of the situation. Yeah, especially if you're putting too much high hopes on someone who can't live up to those expectations. This is expecting someone to be husband or um, wife material who, of course, could one day be that, but they may not be at a maturity level to offer that quite yet. Or there just needs to be a balance in, in goals here in terms of what you guys are both looking for. Hmm. Now, when it comes to what I see for career, I have the Ten of Swords. So career wise, um, like I said, for a lot of you, you could be just wanting some changes to be made. You could be just really tired of certain aspects of your job or what you do. So you could be making some like permanent changes, either changing your career altogether, making steps to change it altogether or just changing aspects of it. Um, especially if you're like an entrepreneur as well, but this is what I see. I hope I did put things in perspective for you and that you guys did take something from this reading. If you did, feel free to thumbs it up and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.